I don't really subscribe to the idea that you always have to be inspired. Sometimes you need to have your, um, Mark Twain has a quote that I love, uh, which was 90% of writing is application of the seat of the pants to the seat of the chair. And um, so I, I, I feel like I have an obligation to sit down and, and put something on paper uh, and to keep working with it until it's telling the story that I told. The inspiration for any individual story is very different. It's just usually something I, I get really interested in and, and want to keep following. When my first book came out, it it's, uh, was set around stories my grandmother told me about her childhood growing up in Cedarville. And uh, one of the reviewers said that I understood the geography of the world I was writing about. I was writing around World War I in Cedarville, Indiana, and specifically cited uh, describing the wooden latch on the, on the privy, which is just the girl's mad at her brother. She goes in the privy and slams the wooden latch down. That's the line, slammed the wooden latch down. That was just something that was just sort of, I mean, there was sort of a history of this place that just got absorbed into me as a child. Uh, and I think that that kind of geographical awareness sticks with you. I think, especially when you write for children, um, you're grounded in who you were at, at age eight and what you noticed then. I was surprised to even be under consideration for the National Award and I was just tickled pink when I won it. I mean, that was, that was a lot of fun. And tonight was great. This was, you know, it's, um, it's the first time I've been able to have my parents and my aunt and uncle with whom I've always been close at an awards uh, dinner with me and, and that was really nice. And I loved uh, meeting Eugene and Marilyn Glick's daughter, Marianne, tonight. That was, that was very special too. So the other thing that's really cool about this award is that I get to give a gift back to the library of my childhood and that's, that's really neat. I live in a, a town now that has a quite nice library for, for its size uh, and unfortunately they all know me and so they say, I really loved your latest book, Mrs. Bradley, and that'll be $17.20 in fines. I know. <laughs>